Greetings YouTube, in today's video I am going to be taking a look and well reviewing, giving my thoughts of the beautiful, legendary, sure SM7B. What can I say about this microphone that it wasn't already said online? There's probably hundreds and thousands of videos of people reviewing the SM7B. Me, for being the first time owning this microphone, I have to say, why did I want to have the microphone? Did I have to have it? Well, the answer is yes, I wanted to have the SM7B in my studio. Now, the microphone is cardiodynamic, same as my Sennheiser E. 835 this is dynamic microphone cardioid polar pattern as well and this is a microphone that i have been using for live streaming for gaming for doing uh reviews and whatnot this is going to be my next microphone but first i want to share with you what was in the box well it was a microphone of course this band or microphone tie uh this extra pop filter for proximity speaking that's what they call it so i can get really close to the microphone all right and we also have a cap to put it in the back of the microphone when you are done fiddling around the settings because this microphone you can pre-equalize it at the back of the microphone you can lower the bass and increase the height of the microphone i am not doing that right now this video is not going to have any post processing it also includes a 5 8 to 3 8 adapter for mic arms like this and it includes some documentation and whatnot now what is the reason that you would want to get a microphone like this well, I noticed that this microphone rejects more background noise. It's almost dead silent. It's amazing. I have to say that it's amazing. Now, if you are a podcaster or if you are a YouTuber that do uh, face cam videos like this, like I'm doing right now, uh, well, this microphone is going to look a lot better. You're going to look a lot more professional. So to have that look, you're going to have to spend or lose a little bit more money. Uh, also, the sound quality. Uh, the microphone is way bass here, and you can actually uh, pull down uh, the bass on the equalization in the back, and you can actually raise the highs if you don't have a mixer like the one I got right now. If you're using a USB interface like the Focusrite second generation 2i2, well, um, you pretty much have to do your vocal equalization in post processing in your software. So $100 microphone versus this microphone, well, well that $100 microphone, I can guarantee that it's going to get the job done. And this microphone, the SM7B, well, they use this microphone on radio stations, they use them on TV. Um, man, this microphone is professional. This is uh, real business. Dr. Disrespect uses this microphone. Uh, Shroud uses this microphone and some other big streamers use this microphone. So I'm going to get really close to the microphone and I am going to test this close proximity pop filter and I want to see how it does. I'm going to go ahead and remove this filter right quick and I want you guys to hear the difference between having no pop filter and having, uh, the, well, you're listening to the, with the original pop filter. This is the extra one that they added. Let me go ahead and remove it. Okay, so I am using the microphone with no pop filter. Uh, you guys are listening to me right here. Take over clock using the SM7B without pop filter. Papa, Creeper 24. Papa, Papa, Creeper 24. Papa, take over clock. All right, so now I'm going to test it with the proximity pop filter. That's what they call it. All right, so I am literally uh, right here up front into the microphone. Uh, it's supposed to reduce the pops, the pop Creeper 24 pops, pops, uh, pop, pop, Creeper 24, Creeper 24, hello, Creeper 24, Creeper 24. I really don't like uh, the way that it looks like that. It just looks like a gigantic freaking ice cream cone or something. I don't like it. I like the pop filter that it comes with. But this was the sound of it. Close talk or proximity pop filter that's what i call it proximity because i can get really close about one inch or less half an inch into the microphone so you're listening to me right now talking like that and <laughs> the whole thing is covering my face so once again no pop filter it's a little clear you can hear the highs a little higher and well it sounds it sounds a little bit more 
crispy clear than having that proximity or close talk. Okay guys, so my final thoughts on this microphone. I love it. It's a legendary Sure SM7B. And what is the reason that you would want to have this microphone in your studio? Well, because the microphone looks awesome. It just makes your studio look good. And it even makes you look good. Uh, you know, I look worst. But with this microphone in front right here, I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm looking good, baby. I'm looking at myself in video and I'm like, Jesus Christ, this microphone makes me feel good. Whew. I'm going to start going on dates now because of this mic. Baby. Alright guys, once again, this is Sergio with TakeOver Clock reviewing another amazing microphone that is worth reviewing by me or taking a look, overview, whatever you want to call it. My final thoughts, my thoughts of this microphone, I don't know. I don't know, right? Don't pressure me, right? But here's another video. And I got more content coming up. CPU, overclocking, computer, graphics card, overclocking, mic reviews. Let me know, right? Stay beautiful. Bye now.